Hello, and welcome back to What's Cooking and Gardening 242. Today, I am here to share with you a full garden tour. For those of you who want some inspiration on how to get your garden started, or just need a little bit more encouragement to continue on with your garden, that's what I hope this video would do for you today. So for those of you, if you're interested, I say stick along. Let's see what I have growing here in January and what I will be planting as well. So here we go. We're going to start off here where I have some garlic chives, purple cabbage. These are my red Russian kale. Here is a bok choy that's going to flower you can see it's flowering i'm going to be saving that for seed so i haven't pulled that out yet but we sure did enjoy a lot of it here is the dwarf blue the, the dwarf blue kale <laughs> so many things to remember right more red russian kale sage oregano then if you come right over here we have our cabbages lettuce that's just about done i'm about to sow some more of those and in between my cabbage i have here some onions more lettuce these are my romaine lettuce and here is my one kohlrabi that has sort of survived. The rest, I had some challenges with insects, so they are now gone. And if you look there, there's a beautiful blossom coming up here on some of my sweet peas that are now coming up. Over here, it's just a little section where I have some wildflowers. Poppies. This is my orange senior. So pretty. One of my favorites are these pink seniors. Here we have some wind damages, but you can see I have my string beans growing up on this trellis that was <laughs> blown down this weekend with all of the winds that we had. arugula there we go we have some tomatillos that's finishing up here in my pepper bed we have some sweet peppers marigolds more sweet peppers And in here we have eggplants. If I can get to you to see some of them that's growing there. There's the eggplant. My eggplant. Over here we have some Roma tomatoes growing in there. You can see those there. And then this is my cucumber plant. Oh, I got tons of cucumber. I think it's about tired now. I'm getting ready to pull this and start some more because I have time in the season to do that. As you can see, there's still cucumbers coming here. I think the other day I pulled like about 20 off of here. Then over here is my hot pepper bed. So you can see some of my habaneros. This is a pepper plant here I got from a friend, but I can't remember the name of the pepper, but I know they are very spicy. Parsley. 
this is some um, celery i think it's getting too much sun because you can see the difference between the celery that's over here it's a lot greener and then i have some more sweet peas coming up in there i thought it would have been cooler now but <laughs> it isn't and then there are some dill And more of my hot pepper I need to put a shade on this one because if you look here you can see that it is being scalded by the Sun then here is my main tomato bed tons of tomatoes in here these are some Warren yellow that is I believe the best boys coming up in there here then there's more Roma tomatoes Roma tomatoes all of those are Romas there are some more best boys down in here and then the pride and joy these here are some of my Beef steak tomatoes. You can see those. These are the nice big slices. You can see them. They're pretty good size. They're coming along. So, and I cannot wait to start harvesting those because I have tons of tomato recipes that I want to try out this year. Over here is some marigold onions. sage and boy did the wind beat up my swiss chard i just love swiss chard and just look at those and here you can see in there we have some thyme and some more arugula here we have some of my cranberry sorrel. Then over here is my pigeon peas. I need to do some harvesting. I noticed some of the pots are very full right about now. So I will come back out later on this afternoon and I will be picking some pigeon peas. You know, here in the Bahamas, Pigeon peas and rice is a staple in the Bohemian homes. Definitely a true Bohemian dish. Over here we have some broccoli coming up nicely. And in the front here, where you can see I pushed back some of the mulch, I have some green beans that I'm expecting to come up there very soon. More <laughs> bok choy going to flower curly parsley this here is my color greens Georgia color greens a volunteer watermelon <laughs> and another one these are more walking onion I use those uh, to help deter pest more color greens and here are some of my purple cabbages. They're just beginning to form their heads. And this is a southern colored. And look at the size of the leaves. Like, it's unbelievable. Look at my hands. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> They have it and look at that bee just happily doing its job. I just love the pollinators and they love when I leave these flowers from like the bok choys and your broccolis when you let them go to flower. The bees just love them. I forgot to show you these. These are my 
papayas and they are just producing and producing and producing i've been looking for so many papaya recipes so that they don't waste so i've been juicing i've been making ice cream i've been making papaya smoothies and the list just goes on so if you have any more papaya recipes that you think i should try i've even done the thai green green uh papaya salad it was delicious oh my gosh it was good so here's some of what i will be growing in january kohlrabi swiss chard detroit golden beets regular detroit beets jalapenos Carrots, more carrots, watermelons, most definitely, if you have never tried these, these are our family favorite. These are so good. We had a beautiful harvest of these last year, so we'll be growing them again this year. Then we love beans here, so we will be growing more lima beans, some of the yellow Cherokee wax bean, our favorite string beans, some Mexican red beans, some scarlet corona beans, and then for flowers, we're going to have some sweet allison, zinnias, some mixed flowers, and more wildflowers. So go ahead and drop me a line at the bottom and let me know what it is that you're growing in January. Now that you've seen what I have growing in my garden, let's see what I will be planting this month for a harvest coming up in March and April. So stay tuned and be sure to like, subscribe, and share. This might be helpful. I know online I had trouble finding information on gardening in the Bahamas. And that was one of the inspiration behind me starting this YouTube channel. And there was also a number of you asking me to share how to plant certain things, when to plant certain things. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. And until next time, keep on growing and let's make a greener Bahamas. Bye.